Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Where's Lucy? Oh, don't worry. She'll be with us soon enough. So why are you doing all this, Doc? What are you hoping to accomplish? You turn the television on lately? Read the newspaper? Never cared much for that stuff. Then, let me sum it up for you. The world's a mess. It's pathetic, really. You've seen it firsthand yourself. A thousand years between you and your ancestor, and society remains just as barbaric, just as stupid. And your point is... Order, Mr. Miles. The world needs order. That is what we're working towards, and that is what you're helping us to achieve. <laughs> you expect me to believe you're building a better tomorrow? That's exactly what we're doing. The human race calls out for direction. They want to know why they're here, what they're meant to do. Well, we're going to tell them. And once they understand how to live their lives, everything will be better. Better how? An end to all conflicts. Large and small. Isn't that what you assassins strive for? Peace in all things? I told you, I'm not an assassin. Right, right. I still don't see where I fit into things. In time, Mr. Miles. In time, you'll understand. Or you won't. I don't care either way, as long as you show us where it is. Where what is? Sorry I'm late. Yes, we are. Take your time. When moving slowly. You've done well, Altair. And I'm confident that this is but the first of many successes. Tamir spoke as if he knew you well. He implied my work had a larger meaning. Significance comes not from a single act, but the context within which it is performed. The consequences born of it. Then is there more I need to know? Altair, your greatest failure was born of knowing too much. If I choose to withhold information, it is only to ensure you do not make the same mistake a second time. I see. No, you don't. And it will remain this way until you've learned your lesson. Still, you have performed competently. And as such, I restore a rank and will return a piece of your equipment. Go now, either to Akka or Jerusalem. There are men in both cities who require your attention. The Bureau leaders can tell you more about what needs to be done. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield the blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Not 
it looks like he's being chased by someone. Should you cause a disturbance, it is wise to leave. Someone tell me why he's doing that. Altair, it seems my st students do not fully understand what it is to wield the blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. You must be busy. I understand. You must be busy. I understand. the hidden blade during fight will allow you Yeah, you're not the same. Nah, I'm not the 
Should you cause a disturbance, it is wise to leave the... Chances. I'll hurry home. Don't think I'll leave it again anytime soon, either. You've done me a kindness, young man. Be assured I won't forget it. Who could have done such a thing? This is an ill omen. Who killed this person? Don't try to run, old man. Let's try to go. 
pathetic. The old man's gonna cry. Did that hurt? What was that you called us before, eh? Heathen? Heathen! <laughs> 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 Listen to the fool cry. How oh, pathetic. Don't try to run, old man. There's nowhere to go. The archer who guards the eastern wing? Poor bastard's brother caught an arrow in the throat. Doubt he'll last the night. How can he continue to work, knowing what's to come? He visits his brother often, so I cover for him when I can. You aren't there now? No. I family business of my own to attend to. Then he'd best hope the doctor doesn't learn of his desertion. He won't. Long as you stay silent. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. Steal in my 
land to spread the message of our Lord, but they turned away. They <laughs> accept him as their savior. These men <laughs> Ah, Altai. A little bird told me you'd be paying a visit. Al Mualam has ordered the execution of Gagne de Naprus, and so here I am. What can you tell me about him? He is the Grand Master of the Knights Hospital, and surely keeps his quarters in their district. Beyond that, I cannot say. I suggest you search the city. See what you can learn from the people. Tell me where they gather, and I'll see what I can find. The public gardens north of here, or what's left of them, are as good a place as any to begin. There is an abandoned market northwest as well that merits watching. And Maria of Jehoshaphat's church to the west remains a popular meeting place. These three locations should be sufficient for your needs. I appreciate the information, Rafiq. It will be put to good use. See that it is.
I'll have your hands for that. Please, someone do something. in my presence. That will cost you your life. You ever see someone do that before? I haven't. You're somewhere you shouldn't be. Leave before you get hurt. So what you got there? Rubbish. The man had no coin to speak of, just some damn tube. All I found was a bit of paper with these nonsense scratchings. Them's not nonsense, but words and letters. Why is a man putting words and letters in a tube? It's a waste of tube, if you ask me. Must be important. Give it here, and I'll have a look. 
Like you helped last time. I ain't letting you steal this. Well, ain't you clever. Have fun with it, then. He's gonna hurt himself, and when he does, I won't help him. Altair! He's after me! He saw me! He will kill me, and my wife and children! What a mess! Have you come to end my misery? No. Al-Mualim has more compassion than I thought. Could you help me then? A knight of the Hospitalier is after me. If you could eliminate him, you would do a fellow a real honor. I've been here in Akka since the Crusaders were laying siege. I can give you important information in return. 
safe for me to walk in the streets of Akka. Come back to me when you have finished. But I need money, sir. I'm poor and sick and hungry. He's dead. Oh, I am extremely grateful. So, here is what I know about Garni de Naplouz, Grand Master of the Hospitalier. Garni lets his patients roam the halls of his fortress. No one, save scholars, may enter his personal workspace, and the rooftops are guarded by archers. I'm sure this information will help deliver Garni to the gates of hell. Altair, how fares your search for Garnier? I know when and how to strike. Share your knowledge with me then. He lives and works within the Order's hospital, northwest of here. Rumors speak of atrocities committed within its walls. It seems the good doctor enjoys experimenting on innocent citizens. Most of them kidnapped and brought here from Jerusalem. Clever. 
By stealing his subjects from another city, he avoids arousing too much suspicion here. But back to the matter at hand. What is your plan? Gagne keeps mainly to his quarters inside the hospital, though he leaves occasionally to inspect his patients. It's when he makes his rounds that I will strike. It's clear you've given this some thought. I give you leave to go. Remove this stain from Akka, Altair. Perhaps it will help cleanse your own. Rest here until you're ready to begin your mission. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Funny if he hurt himself. What's wrong with him? I beg of you, sir. I beg of you. Just a few coins, please. Take that. Take that. Enough, my child. I asked you to retrieve the patient, not to kill him. There, there. Everything will be all right. No! Give me no. your hand. Don't touch me! Not again! Cast out this fear, else I cannot help you. 
Help me? Like you helped the others? You took their souls! I saw. I saw! But not mine. No! You'll not have mine! Ah! Take hold of yourself! Do you think this gives me pleasure? Do you think I want to hurt you? But you leave me no choice. Every kind word matched by the back of his hand! All lies and deception! He won't be content until all bow before him! You should not have done that. Return him to his quarters. I'll be along once I've tended to the You others. can't keep me here. I'll escape again. No, you won't. Break his legs, both of them. Have you people nothing better to do? Endless dream calls to me. But before I close my eyes, I must know what will become of my children. You mean the people made to suffer your cruel experiments? They'll be free now to return to their homes. Homes? What homes? The sewers? The portals? The prisons that we dragged them from? You took these people against their will. Yes. What little will there was for them to have. Are you really so naive? Do you appease a kind child simply because he wails? But I want to play with fire, father. What would you say? As you wish. Ah. But then you'd answer for his burn. These are not children, but men and women full grown. In body, perhaps, but not in mind. Which is the very damage I sought to repair. I admit, without the peace of Eden, which you stole from us, my progress was slowed. But the herbs, mixtures, and extracts, my guards are proof of this. They were madmen before I found and freed them from the prisons of their own minds. <sighs> and with my death, madmen they will be again. You truly believe you were helping them? It's not what I believe. It's what I know. Die, I'm going to get away. He's a cruel. 
What news, Altair? Gagne is dead. Then you should return to Masayaf with news of your victory. There is something else. Speak it then, or would you have me read your mind? What do you think he wanted from these people? That he would keep them an experiment on them as he did? Yours is not to ask, but act, Altair. It doesn't matter what he did or why. Only that he's dead. But Gagne seemed to believe he was helping these people. Is that what you saw? No. What I saw was not a place of healing, but of pain. Then why are we having this conversation? I... I don't know. Forget I spoke of it. I already have. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. been exposed, killing some of you. Have you news for me, Altair? Gagne de Plus is dead. Excellent. We could not have hoped for a more agreeable outcome. And yet... What is it? The doctor insisted his work was noble, and looking back, those who were supposedly his captives seemed grateful to the man. Not all of them, but enough to make me wonder. How did he manage to turn enemy into friend? Leaders will always find ways to make others obey them. And that is what makes them leaders. When words fail, they turn to coin. When that won't do, they resort to baser things. Bribes, threats, and other types of trickery. There are plants, Altair. Herbs from distant lands that can cause a man to take leave of his senses. So great are the pleasures it brings, men may even become enslaved by it. You think these men were drugged then? Poisoned? Yes, if it truly was as you describe it. Herbs. This seems a strange method of control. Our enemies have accused me of the same. The promise of paradise. They think it is a garden, overflowing with women and pleasure. But I drug you as Garnier did his men, and tempt you with his rewards. They do not know the truth of it. Which is how it must be. But if they knew the truth of it, that all we seek is peace. Then they would not fear us, and we would have no hold over them. Go. It is time you continued with your work. Another rank is restored to you, as is a piece of your equipment. We'll speak again when the next has fallen.